Hi, I'm Richard with Daily Farm Walk Behind Tractors. I wanted to point out a couple things regarding clutch slack on your tractor so that uh, it's to minimize chances that anyone's going to be burning up the clutch. Here, let's take a look. Okay, it is important with your walk behind tractor that you make sure to have a good, a fair amount of slack in the cable so that you do not burn up your clutch prematurely. Uh, to check, you can grab the sheath. I'm pulling it uh, away from the engine toward the other side of the tractor, toward the PTO. And you can see that there's quite a bit of slack in there. I can also take both hands and work it like this, back and forth. To adjust the slack, you loosen this lock nut, which is a, you can get with a 13 millimeter wrench, back it out. If you want to decrease the amount of slack, you spin this 11 millimeter adjusting bolt outward, lengthening it, uh, the amount of threads that you can see, and that will decrease the amount of slack. Note we have a lot less slack right now. Or if you want to increase the amount of slack, spin it in the other way. If it's too hard to spin with your fingers, grab an 11, mil 11 millimeter wrench and do that. Note that we've moved it in quite a bit, and now we've got a lot of slack uh, in the cable. Put enough slack in the cable as much as you can uh, so that when you pull in your clutch handle all the way, that the tractor comes to a complete stop, the PTO as well, and that when you're shifting, you get no grinding. And that will be the uh, proper amount of slack. I don't measure it, I put in as much slack as we can have where those two conditions would be, would be true. This is a very small amount of slack in here. I would not be comfortable at all with this amount of slack. I would, I would screw this adjuster in. Now we've got a lot more slack in the clutch cable. And what I would do next is then take the tractor out for a spin and test the two conditions that I mentioned so that when I pull the handle in, the tractor comes to a complete stop and I can do shifting without, without hearing grinding. If it's not quite right, if the tractor creeps a little bit, just come back up here and adjust it accordingly. Screw your adjuster in or out based on what you need. Leave a good amount of slack and you shouldn't have problems burning up the clutch unless you end up riding your clutch, but that's a different story. But speaking of that, don't ride the clutch either. Okay. Go. One other thing to note, when you rotate your handlebars, currently this tractor is in uh, front mount slash mowing positions with the handlebars over the engine. Generally, when you rotate the handles back to the other side, where you're being rear mount or towing position, you generally get a, the a little bit more slack when you go back to that direction. Uh, so when you come from the tilling position or rear mount position, switch your handlebars back to this position, you generally get less slack. So if you're doing using implements, high torque implements, uh, you certainly want to uh, make sure those especially have plenty of slack in them. So check it from both sides. If you need to, worst case, carry an 11 millimeter or 13 millimeter wrench with you. Uh, if you're having to rotate your handlebars when you're out in the field mowing, or whatever, just in case you need to adjust that slack. It is possible to burn the clutch up very quickly, 30 minutes, maybe even quicker, uh, if you do not have slack in the clutch cable. 